It's only three weeks. Like, what could possibly go wrong? Hey guys, what's up? Irish Emerald here and welcome to a, I'm not going to say new draft league, but it is new on this channel. But we are taking over a team in the Eon World Trophy or the EWT. If you guys haven't checked it out, definitely go do so. There's links to all the other coaches in the description down below. It's been knocked around for several seasons at this point through various different, uh, across several different gens now. So it's something that we have been, like, I've always been tempted to apply for, but I never really did. And the opportunity came out to take over a team. And it was three weeks left and we had a shot playoffs. And I said, you know what? This will be kind of a little bit of good practice leading, leading back into the UBL, which will be coming soon uh, on this channel. It'd be kind of good just to get back into that Wi-Fi mindset after playing on Showdown in our previous league. So I said, I'll take up three leagues, oh, sorry, three weeks for, of just pure battling. And if we pick up two wins, we might make playoffs. If we pick up three wins, we'll definitely make playoffs. So I figured that's pretty decent. And do you know what? We can kind of go from there. So... I, you know, why not? Absolutely, why not? Also helps that um, already, by just us taking this league, we're getting more league qualification points than our UBL ones. So, that also had a bit of a factor to play in. But yeah, as you guys can see, we're ranked just outside playoffs at the moment with a 3-3 three three record. The minus 6 stiff is just, mm, it's just nasty. The fact that not only have, is the previous coach lost, he lost pretty big. So, that definitely sucks. So, obviously, we're going to have to, you know, work our way around that. Uh, if we're going to have to win... We'll hopefully have to win big if we do manage to pick up that one loss mm, like you know it's it means that we're definitely going to, have to win three i think i think if we win all three we'll definitely make playoffs if we win two five and four that's not too bad uh depending on how big our wins are going into the final three weeks so we'll see how it goes and we'll just play play week by week but of course what you guys are really wondering is what is the team that we are dealing with so I'll just quickly run down through it, I'll tell you what I like and what I don't like and then I'll give you the breakdowns to when you can see videos coming up on this channel. So our team consists of Dragapult, Cartana, Sylveon, Heliosk, Araquanint, Slazzle, Braviary, Rejuvenous or whatever it is, whatever way you pronounce it, the Alone in Persian, the Skuntank and the Armaldo. I'll break down what I like first, right? Like I'm not going to get too negative because there is things I really do not like about this team. I like the fact that we have Pult and Cartana. That's a good bit of offense right there. It's going to force every team to have to try and prep multiple ways to be able to break through. Uh, oh, sorry, just to be have defensive checks for my for my squad because Cartana is able to break through pretty much about absolutely absolutely everything. And Pult being able to outrun essentially the whole meta means that everyone's going to have to bring either some form of priority or some form or some form of scarfer or setup like speed setup. To be able to outrun the pull. So that is pretty, pretty nice. Great that we got Sylvia on here as well. Know how to use Sylvia on quite, very, very well. Great that we have uh, Solar Panel, the Helio is back as well. We have used Solar Panel on a draft league in a long, long time. Like, we, there are several Pokemon here that we have used before. Araquanint, Slazzle, like, those are things are very, very useful. But what really is the problem is, like, the rest of the team comp here is a disaster. For instance, we really do not have any reliable dark check. Like, we just don't. I know you could argue with the Alone and Persian, but your high tier dark types are going to be able to just smack alone and person around. That uh, that same goes true for the ghost type um, stab. Like ghost type really does hit our team quite hard. Like shadow ball isn't great, and that means that that will that forces Sylveon to play such a huge defensive role here on this team because not only do we have a bulk, we don't like not only do we have uh, a major ghost and dark weakness on this team, we also ha don't don't have another bulky steel type. To deal with dragon types, so Sylveon has to do so much work on this team to def to like be a defensive check to really high end dark types and to most dragon types, and that's that's a huge problem. That's a huge huge problem. On the flip side of that, like you you want to talk about like say I have like my ground type Rejuvenous or whatever way you pronounce it, that's that shares that ghost and dark's weakness with Dragapult. Like there's very few instances I really want to run Pult and Rejuvenous. Or whatever it's called uh to like in on the same team there's gonna be very few instances i want to do that and there's very few instances i want to run both the alone and pressure and the skull tank on the same team because if i'm dealing with say a fighting type like you know i, I don't really want to be dealing with it. i'd rather bring, bring the iraq in if there's a big fighting type that i need to uh check and then have the sylveon do something else like you kind of get my meaning there's a few of those lower tier picks that just they just don't really help the team whatsoever and it's a really good shame because there's some stuff nice stuff to like get have here especially at the top end of our draft i would love if we had a bulky steel type 
like something like a registeel or something like that just sit down in front of things i know registeel can be a little bit passive but you catch my meaning just to take that defensive load off the Sylveon. and i'd love if we had maybe something else to deal with the ghost type i well you could make the argument if i if you scrap your junior like put that thing in the bin like and just get a different ground type then the ghost um, uh, the ghost attack weakness is gone right so that's my big issue there uh, there's a couple of big like there's, there's a couple of major uh, weaknesses and it's just not nice to deal with on the flip side of that guys i did mention kartana like it's able to break through everything and but i also have previously mentioned on a stream that one of the things that you have to draft with Kartana is a bulky steel type. And the only way you're going to get away with drafting Kartana without a bulky steel type is if you draft something that is just ridiculously disgustingly bulky. Like, for instance, we played Aquarius in the CLTU and her team had a Kartana, but you look at the rest of the bulk around Kartana, like she was she could easily have dealt with the ice beams, the thunderbolts, the flamethrowers, you you know what I mean? Like she's able to deal she had so much book around it that like you couldn't just reliably kick those moves and be able to, uh, you know, just have Cartana fly away and just disappear off the off the screen. Like, but whereas this team we don't have that book. Like we have nothing really that likes taking the flamethrower. Uh, again, that puts too much pressure on the Sylveon. Uh, granted, Rorakuen can take a hit from it, but like it's not great. Same with the ice coverage. Uh, if we have ice stab, like uh, if, even if whether it be physical or special. Uh, like we don't really deal with that too well because I just don't have the Pokemon. I don't have the uh, the the baseline bulk at the bottom end of my team. So like there's major problems with the squad, and that's very unfortunate. So hope uh, we'll have to see how we get along. Now you guys probably ask yourself, I wish you literally have talked about some some of the things you don't like. Why don't you make the changes? I'm not allowed. My hands are tied here with this team. Apparently, it's we're too late into the season for any coach, regardless if you're a placement or not, uh, to be allowed to make changes so i can't make any changes even though there's a plethora like i would, I would love if, if i was given three transactions i'd make them i'd make i'd make all three i would drop the regenerous i would drop i I'd t I'd definitely take a look at bravery i'm taking a look at maybe dropping that a rock could be uh could be something i could might take a look after something different i definitely be dropping the skull tank the armando as well like there are several pokemon i've just literally listed several pokemon that i would definitely be looking at and saying oh i could do removing that whereas the other pokemon there the slazzle the helios the sylveon the kartana and the pult i keep i dare certain for me like you need the slazzle to allow pult to be able to break to do a bit more work work because you need something to break through the Steel types, etc. But I'm not going to get into too much of that. You, you guys know there's things I like and there's things I don't like. You can blame Otto for not allowing me to do any um, transactions because he runs the league. So blame him. But yeah, guys, that's our new draft league team for the next few weeks. But we will be having new draft league content coming out on this channel as well. FIFA is coming back. UBL is coming back. So they're going to be dropping pretty, pretty soon. So keep an eye out for, on, on the channel for those. Regarding uploads, you guys probably wonder when we're going to have uploads coming up. Uploads will be on Thursdays for this um, league. <laughs> Words escape me there. But we're, yeah, we're going to be seeing the battles going up on Thursdays as uh, with all the other coaches. So expect EWT to be out on Thursdays and hopefully we'll be caught up by then. Our first battle will be this coming Thursday uh, up on the channel. So make sure you go check it out when it drops. And yeah, pretty much that's everything I gotta say, you guys. If you haven't clicked the like button already, please do so on the video. Hopefully, we can do well, a little bit well in season three wins, guaranteed playoffs. So we'll see how it goes. Click the subscribe button, click that bell icon, so you guys know when a video drops. And then, if you're not following me over on Twitch, please do so. We stream some more competitive Pokemon over there, so make sure you head on over there and click that follow button. Link to that is in the description. But yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up there today, folks. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.